kit number four so asking is how do you convert 0 0.35 to to a fraction in lowest terms here so convert 0 0.35 to fraction in lowest terms okay so uh, again, we're now instead of going from fraction to decimal, we're going from decimal to fraction, right? As you can see, we have a decimal here and we want a fraction as our answer, right? So how do we do this problem here? Decimal to a fraction. Well, I'm going to look at my decimal here first. We already we already analyzed a kind of what a decimal is in the uh, previous question. But as you can see, we have 0 0.35. Again, my first place here, I know that this is here is my tens digit, and this guy here is my hundreds digit, right? So if I have a number, or if I have any an, any any value in my last kind of digits here, this will be my denominator for my fraction. So 0 0.35 therefore equals whatever. Uh, I have a fraction here. A denominator is going to have to be um, basically the last digit of my decimal here, um, the, uh, and in this case here, it would be five, but then remember five is in the hundreds place, right? So in the hundreds place, then therefore this denominator here is 100. So I have a hundred as my, uh, as my um, in the last digit here, if it's in the hundreds place, then my numerator is simply just whatever's in the, uh, in the decimal here. So this here is simply just 35. So I have 35 over a hundred here would be my, uh, would be my fraction. And then what I want to do is I want, I want the lowest terms, right? Remember, I want to, therefore, I need to reduce my fraction here to lowest terms. So if I, if I have 35 over 100 here, what I could do is I can simply reduce. So I can divide both the numerator by the and the denominator by a specific number, right? In this case, because they both end in 5 or 0, I know that this is divisible by 5, right? So I have 35 divided by 5 here would be 7. And then 100 divided by 5 here is 20 here. So this here is my solution, right? So I can say that therefore 0 0.35 to fraction in lowest terms is 7 over 20 here. And this here is our solution for this problem here. And as you can see, they did they did the exact same thing. They did actually a extra step where they actually convert 0 0.35 into a percentage first, so something over 100, and then they did a percentage into decimal. So either way works, as long as we get to a fraction, sorry, just add a percentage to a decimal. And then they basically reduced 35 over 100 to 7 over 20 by dividing by 5 from both the numerator and the denominator here. So the solution is correct. Good analysis.